Hi, I just wanted to do a quick update on the uh, Make Sky Blue MPP Solar Charge Controller, the V119 with the Wi-Fi. That's the one I have. Um, this is the actual one of the sites. This is the uh, Amazon site, and this is what it would look like. That would be the price. It's like one fifty, one forty nine. Um, AliExpress has it for like uh, I think it's one forty nine. They fluctuate in the prices and stuff. But um, just to this is uh, AliExpress's website and stuff. One fifty. And um, actually, that's the specs on it. They also have a U.S. rep um, that is very helpful. And um, down at the bottom, it's down here. If I could find it, I'll click on it so you can get that information. But um, and they have a couple of different types. But the 60 amp with the Wi-Fi actually works very good. I have a 40 amp without the Wi-Fi. I had it for over a year. I had no problems. The only problems I had, I had a lithium battery. And uh, with the 40 amp, it was just hard for me to get the right settings on it. Um, I haven't figured out now. But now I have the 60 amp with the Wi-Fi, which is so easy to do. Um, the settings, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, let me pause this. and I'll... Okay, this is my 60 amp. The, uh, one, one, the V119 with the Wi-Fi. You know, it's very cold out here today. It's uh, below freezing. Uh, it's working pretty good. I had it inside because I have a lithium battery, so I, it, it works pretty good as far as um, charging up the uh, battery. Uh, this is my 40 amp that I have. I use that as a backup. I have it on. It's a little cloudy today, so I have it on as a backup. But this one by itself can charge it up no problem. I'm going to go inside and I'll show you how it looks on a tablet. Okay, this is how it would look on the tablet. And on the tablet, it's very easy, self-explanatory. Um, this is the actual settings, the temperature, you know, the MPP energy that I've been using so far, work status, fault status, device address, you know, everything is very simple. Um, I mean, literally, you don't even have to look at the uh, unit when you have it on your tablet. I have it outside. I forget it's there. I just go on the, uh, my, uh, my uh, notebook or the tablet and just check it, make sure it's charging, and then I forget about it. And um, let's say if I want to change anything, you just go to the fixed parameter. You hit, hit the phone. I mean the fixed parameter. And then it's it's uh you just dial it in. You just punch the numbers in. You just tap it and you punch the number in you want. I have it for a lithium setup. Mine's a 12.6, but I have it at 12.9, so it charges real quick. And I have it float at about 12.7, 24 hours of timer. And then the MPP current, all of that stuff. Right now, I have it on LiPo uh, lithium battery. And you could just push this over to deep cycle, lead acid, etc. And then you just hit OK. I'm not going to play with it, so I'm just going to go back to the screen. And then, boom, there you are. It works that easy. And, um, you know, so I just want to give you an update on that. Uh, one of the... One of my subscribers was asking about it, so that's what I'm doing. This is not a selling thing. This is not um this is what I had. I had a couple of other smaller M uh MPP chargers that will they're not as good as this. This one is pretty compact, price is great, works pretty good. Um that's why I use it. Yeah, and this, I'm trying to find the U.S. contact. They have a U.S. rep. He's actually very good. He helped me out in the beginning. And um, I'm trying to get the link to his page. So, that will be a little easier for you. Let me see if Amazon has it on their website. Um, 
No. So I don't have it right now. But if I when I load this up and I find it, I'll put it in the um I'll put it at the end. Okay. I hope this was helpful.